Um, Poundcad, um, let's head over to Slack for you guys to see what was happening this morning. Now, I'm not sure if you had a look at the Rocks Effects analysis, um, but this morning I had a look at Poundcad and I was mentioning here on this pair that taking sales, even though we're in a sell structure market, while the momentum of this candle is down, was suicide. Now, the reason why I mentioned this is because what we want to see on uh, when taking sales or buys is we want to be able to get into the charts or our sales and buys when the markets are at the four H candles looking like this, okay? Because what we're trying to do is meet the range of the four H candles. So it will be like an average. I don't know how much this is. I don't really care. Um, but the average of what the candle potentially could be visually. So if the candle is down at this formation, then visually this candle has already done its work for the day or for the four hours. What happened next on this is I then illustrated that even though this looks like a nice lower high, a sell from this area or this area was fine in terms of um, pattern wise. If the 4H candle looks like this, we can't take it. If it looks like this, this is fine because then we have this much room to get to break even at least. And the results of this eventually um, was, I mean, trade, whatever you want to call it, of this trade taking a sell here with a stop loss above this structure. And then eventually price came back to the ret retracement level on this market, um, which is illustrated here. This is the 50% retracement of the 4H candle. Okay, price eventually did come back, break and close above this structure. After I identified that, um, I decided to take a buy, um, but instead of taking the buy, because for my eyes, I couldn't really um, gather enough confidence to take the buy, I decided to invert the scales on my trading view. And as you can see here, um, it just looks so biased to me now. So what I was looking for on this um, was for price to make a lower high formation of the structure, uh, which is a push to the upside, push back into structure and then the lower high formation. Notice this is a one to two. So this was obviously my first um, sell buy trade um, that I've done in all my trading. And I decided just to go for one to two. Now, as Patrick mentioned, this final push of this candle here was influenced by news. Um, I really wasn't aware that there was any news at the time. Um, but by the time price has pushed down to in and around these levels, I decided to um, pull my stop loss to half um, just to see what happened. And then I was eating my morning breakfast and then price, all I heard was my alarms going off. Okay. Um, but this is this trade. Very interesting. Um, very fun to take. Yeah. Especially because it's one. Um, and yeah, that's that to be honest with you. Yeah, of course, you've got to buy an empty four. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so this was this trade, pretty fun. Um, now this came off of um, the back of the analysis this morning, uh, which was indicating not to take sales on this pair at all, and um, to be mindful of the bullish pressure 